بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum dear viewers welcome to you tower my name is Haq I want to welcome you all mashallah and in our panel we have really expertise from the globe actually the America <laughs> Pakistan Bangladesh mashallah so dear viewers we're going to talk about youth and marriage you know all of us are married already and we're going to talk about youth the reason is we want to do something for them there are a lot of uh, accusation and there are a lot of uh, blaming games going on uh, kids are saying I can't afford to get married. I have to wait for five years, six years, ten years, and then when they get married, all their saving is gone. So we want to talk about it. Let's find the issue. Why are we going to taking that line? So, is it wise to do this? So inshallah, I will ask our panels, and then they will also give their opinions. So let me introduce our panels uh, without any delay. Can I start with Shim? Would you like to say your name and what yeah. you do? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shahina Parvin Shimo. I'm from Bangladesh, now living in UK. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, and thank you for inviting me to such a nice program amongst the talented people. I'm Councillor Mahbub Allam, and I live in Shadow. Brilliant. Very easy, UK, okay, good. <laughs> um, Tamara, please, would you like to? Yes, of course, I'm Tammy Gisselman. I'm from the United States, uh, in Indiana, in the Midwest. I come from the University of Evansville, and I'm the university chaplain there. Brilliant. So thank you for having Welcome. me. Welcome. Thank you. Um, my name's uh, Ruhi Rizvi. I'm a founder of uh, Project Zainab and I've been working with families for 20, over 25 years. Um, children, young people and families um, have experience as a nursing health practitioner as well. Brilliant. Fantastic. Dear viewers, you could call us. There's a number that you can call us and you can talk to us directly. Um, if anyone wants to speak in Bengali, also you're more than welcome. You can, you know, say in Salati and and, uh, and also Urdu, so it's no issue. We can uh, explain. So if you have any issues yourself, you've been through any difficulties, please do call in, inshallah. Uh, if I could start, you know, uh, with uh, something big, do you think it, is that a big issue? Because I get lots of calls from you know parents and the kids and saying, look, it's getting out of hand now. You know, every marriage is, 50, you know, forty to sixty thousand pounds. And they are delaying and delaying and delaying, and you can see the queue of people now. So people are the sisters, especially mm -hmm. they're going up to 35, 38, and they can't find their husband. Especially in Bengali uh, Muslim communities, mm -hmm. we are, we're having these issues. And if you see the deadline, like single uh, Muslims, there's a more than a million people uh, they're looking for partners. Absolutely. And Islam is made, you know, made it so simple, you know, just so simple. If you have a, even with the dates, his marriage is fine. Get two witnesses, give a day, and let's do it. Mm. Make a life easy for people. So if I start with uh, uh, Shimu, because you have done amazing, yeah. your wedding was amazing. What example to me, we were here last yeah. time. Yeah, so alhamdulillah. Tell me it was, about... It was uh, brilliant last time. Me and my husband joined the same program, and we had a great discussion all together. So, but yeah, definitely, this is a huge crisis to this world, not only a particular society, a particular country, or, you know, a region. This is a, a worldwide crisis. You know, everywhere in the world, people are going through the same type of life crisis, family problems, families are broken down, and uh, people are now afraid of taking responsibilities, I think. And marriage is a huge responsibility. And the beginning, you know, when uh, the wedding happens, it's about a huge lot of money. So when you think about that, okay, I have to spend mm, this amount of money, and everyone is expecting around that I'll be, mm, you know, arranging a big party, everyone will be coming, having food, and I have to arrange all this because my friends are doing the thing, same thing. My neighbors are doing the mm. same uh, type of program, so I have to also do the same type of thing. Otherwise, I'll be out of the society. People will be talking about, oh my God, uh, he hasn't done anything like that. So why people will be talking about this, you know? Um, so this is a great uh, peer pressure, I think. And uh, people are not taking it very simple as our religion has, uh, you know, taught us that marriage should be very simple mm. just uh, there is a 
very simple process yeah as you uh, told that two witnesses and you can have a debt and that's it in a mosque that's it done but uh, we are making it more and more critical because our society is getting crit critical i think we are not taking we are not thinking simply we are not taking things simply and we we are very much kind of uh, you know uh, what can I materialistic? Mm, so we are mm. materializing the relationship. Although relationships are only about emotion, love, and respect. Mm. So this is the basic point I think mm. that we have to ponder upon always. But we are going far away from this very point. That's the main crisis, I believe. Brother um, Mahbub, yes. you're a local councillor, mashallah. Yes. You're a People, no, I'm sure you've met a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you feel you got you got young boys? I've got three boys actually. I, I'm really frightened, honestly. I can't afford to you know go through there as as it is now. I can't do yeah. it. Mm. So that means they will be delayed. They're going to do on their own thing. I can't afford. I've got three boys. Where do I get 150 thousand pound? Where wow. do I get that? Yeah. yeah. You know. So do you feel you know in that line you go boy you go girl and this is yeah. a along the line I've got four children, three boys and one one daughter. I mean, let me start off with, uh, in modern time, we are challenged with lots of new things that we have not faced before. And I could list it uh, with the technology, with Facebook and with uh, smartphones that we have. We're even losing the value of coming to meet and greet your own families, mm -hmm. spend more time and having yeah. the gathering. We think just saying hello to by Facebook and liking certain things is right. done the justice. It doesn't. Now, c same thing with marriage. And now we have to understand the true reason for what marriage is about, the true meaning of marriage. Is this something that we discuss within our family? Yeah. Is this a subject that we talk to our children when they are at the right age? Many of the parents, I don't think, they don't think it's appropriate to speak to their children in terms of marriage. I mm. mean, I want to give you an example. When I was driving and coming to your show, and I thought, what can I really think of? And something like this came into mind with one of our prophet. His daughter indicated him of someone that she liked. And instantly he understood and he acted upon it. So I don't see often our daughters or my son mm. would come to me, I'll put my yeah. hands up as well and say, Dad, there's someone that I'm, st you know, I go college with or university with and I think she would be a good wife like for me. Like-minded. Like yeah. So this is a uh, step that we parents can take to break that off so that make it easier for our children yeah. to approach us. Mm -hmm. Let's not just we have to make them comfortable. Blame, mm. Let's not just blame sure. others, right? Some are wealthy and some are not. I don't have to live somebody else's life, mm. right? And yes. I have to make sure my family understands and my children understand, enjoy what you have. And thousands and millions of people are enjoying what we have. Yes, we talk about marriage being very costly nowadays, peer pressure. And we have to wait for 30,000, 40,000 pounds to be saved before we can think of it. But even we don't have to. We do not have to follow the trend. But we have to have a understanding mm -hmm. with our children and say how, and for example, if I want to, you said, was, am I really worried about my son? I already spoke to my son. He's 16. Oh, I'm sure he might be watching it, and my yeah, wife that's nice. watching that's it. Wonderful. And we had the chat, and uh, even uh, we say, look, if it comes to it, and when you're going to college, if things are bothering you, something comes into your mind. If you focus on study only, mm -hmm. that's fine. But if it comes to it, I'm happy to look into it. Mm -hmm. And when I, even I had a bit of a chat with my friends recently, and I said, look, we can have an understanding. Like if you're thinking of marrying your daughter, Ali, we can think and see. And they can both study. Getting married does not mean yeah. your dream is over. Absolutely. That's yes. another yes, misconception. Absolutely. I can give you an example of a friend of mine who I hope is listening now. They got both married very young age and they both went, went away to study. They basically went to Egypt for a couple of years and they both came back, graduated and they now qualified teachers in English and Arabic. Wow. And this is possible. So it's, I, I personally think it's a new challenge for us. Yet it's, it's, yeah, it's I think we shouldn't forget one thing. Like, um, the people who are getting married, they are the main people. Mm. We're just trying to help them out. Yes, if we try to take yes. it over everything, then it becomes a problem again. So we're trying to help them, but we need to be stand where we are. Look, not you take the lead, you're the leader, and I follow. Not, not only that, like talk to, or talk to the, uh, the both family. Talk I think you are great though. One thing you said, we don't educate our kids. Regarding Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's um, one of the most blessed things. We don't make yeah. them comfortable enough. Absolutely. I think it, is, I think it also means how, um, how you've actually nurtured your own children. Mm. Yeah, so that, that inbreeding. 
um, while they're at home, what kind of life you're giving them, that kind of, uh, you know, the mindset. Are you preparing their mindsets well before marriage time comes? Because, you know, if you present yourself as a role model in life, as parents, children will follow that. You know, it's a learned behavior. Children will follow what you show them to be a good, um, good behavior, good motives for marriage. Um, and then they'll look at that. And, and if you present yourself as a model, you become that model, mm. then they will actually naturally follow it because they know that there's benefits to it, advantages of it. What, we're, we, what we have done in the past, and it's a mistake that we've made, a major mistake, where we've let them believe that there is something that they need to have which they don't really need. Mm. Yes, and yes. that is following everybody else in society, letting them believe that if you don't have a certain ca amount of capital, you can't marry somebody. Yeah. We need to move that away from that, uh, that attitude. Can I come to Tamara, please? Um, you're from uh, USA. Um, global leaders, they are. That's, that's without any doubts. They, they have amazing stuff going on. How is, is it in your uh, uh, nation, like marriage scene? Right. It depends uh, on your family, on uh, your culture. Uh, marriage is perceived in different ways depending on your religious practices, your beliefs. Um, obviously in the Midwest it's a different situation than perhaps on the West Coast. But the bottom line is what you're talking about here uh, when you speak of financial issues or studying at university, all of those factors play into someone's uh, thinking about long-term mm -hmm. family and marriage. Uh, in the U.S. too. But, you know, weddings are an industry. And uh, it wouldn't be an industry if there weren't a market. Mm. So we have bought into that market. Absolutely. It's, it's just like our kids expect mm. a smartphone at 12. Mm. <laughs> we've, we've sort of trained them. Talks about, mm. You talked about uh, they will follow. Well, I need a phone every time there's an upgrade. I mean, I'm guilty of that. Yes. And so mm -hmm. it, it, it is mind. a part of our culture. I, I don't necessarily need the latest and greatest smartphone, mm. but because uh, I can't afford it, I, I have this understanding that every two years I'm going to get my new smartphone. And that translates into other areas of our life, mm, of course. Our, our family culture. Uh, weddings included. So uh, the in average the, in, wedding is twenty twenty thousand dollars In the weddings in, in America, what's the average number of people will turn up? Well, it varies. I, I won't say that it's a large number because people are having smaller mm. weddings, it seems, though I don't have data to back that up. But anywhere from two to five hundred people is not uncommon. Mm. Um, when my husband and I got married, uh, we had 500 people at our wedding, wow. in part because we're both United Methodist clergy and we've served congregations. And so our former congregations mm -hmm. were invited, of course. We wanted them to be there. Um, so we had a full church, but we didn't necessarily spend a lot of money on the overall wedding. We, we let folks know that we weren't going to have some extravagant, we just couldn't, mm -hmm. we didn't have the cash. So we, the, the main part of our wedding was the actual church service, the worship service. In that regard, you can have a large wedding, yeah. that's, that's the covenant that you mm -hmm. make with your partner, that's the, the witness uh, that you make before God, that mm -hmm. you are committing your life to this other person. And then you can have a full church, but it's the parties, it's the limousines, mm. it's yeah. the photographers. That's when the culture demands uh, exactly. and there's competition. Brilliant. Mamuba, if I come to you, uh, yes. there are a lot of new marriages or new weddings that are breaking down, man. I was just reading <laughs> yesterday, 42% okay, uh, uh, of the marriage is going down. I want to touch on what sister said here is, 
He said, example, if my children see me and my wife arguing 24 hours a day, do you think they would want to step into this situation in mm -hmm. the future? That's a good point. Yeah? Very good. So it's, it's, it's a part that we have to play. We have to make sure. We will have our arguments, every parent does, but must not take place in front of the children. Mm -hmm. Your financial issue, you deal with it when they are at school. Mm -hmm. When they are home, make it lively, make it look nice. You've got to be happy. And if they don't see the happiness, kids will know one. So that's another thing, what keeps them away from getting married as well. So let's not just blame in one issue. There are many no, issues. No, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So there are right. many issues. Now, why the marriages uh, are breaking so quickly, especially in time, that's where I represent. And I dealt with a few of the issues where I tried to sort of explain and I, you know, talk to them and I've taken time out, gone, gone out. Well, well, the secrets are coming out now, yeah. you see. <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> Wife would join me in that uh, situation as well. It's number one to understand what marriage is all about. We have two people come together from two different parts of life. They mostly like completely different things to one another. It's about coming in between, compromising both ways, mm -hmm. and then finding a new way and finding new things that you both like together. Mm -hmm. Now, they were not really been told about what to expect and not to expect. They have not read. And nowadays we have another issue, sorry to say, but we have Google Sheikh or Google Advisor, yeah. right? <laughs> and whatever you want to do, you just go in there and you pick up a few things, cut and paste approach, and you think you know it all. And now you stick to your guns and say, look, I read that. Mm. No, it's about more than what I just read. It's an experience. You need a bit of a knowledge because it's a serious issue. You are actually contributing to us as a society. Mm. Marriage is about producing people humanity exists because of that reason and you leave a legacy through your children so have you have if you have this kind of thing, uh, thoughts in your mind that my dream i might not be able to reach my dream in my time because my time i don't know when it will end but i can say for sure my my dream can be achieved uh, with my children or maybe through their children with this kind of uh, thoughts you can really take marriage seriously and you'll make sure things are done properly and like I said, if you talk about even religion, now what did our Prophet Sallallahu said? Marriage is half of your din. Mm -hmm. Now, how often do you talk about it? Mm -hmm. You know, we keep beard, we go to mosque five times a day, and then we don't talk about what completes half of your religion is through marriage. Now, we have an issue where we talk about some uh, financial stability has to be met before my son or daughter decides to get married. <coughs> But when do you, when can you say, even Maybe all of us, when, when can when you say that you're financially, properly, 100% uh, stable right now? Absolutely. Things could go wrong anytime. No one can say that. That's right. You take the step. There is no end of it. You get right. help, two means more. It's a friendship, marriage is about friendship. And I got married young as well. I got married when I was 23. I now wish I, I was married when I was 21. And you can ask me why. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a less of a gap between you and your children. Mm there's a less gap between me and my son, and we can enjoy things in common. And yeah. only yesterday I took my son to a gym, who was only 10, and he enjoyed it. Can you imagine, because of the less of a gap in yeah, age, I'm able to do it. So let's, let's, I think we, firstly, I want to thank you for bringing that, bringing that up, but we want to run uh, workshops locally. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to one another. Mm -hmm. Let's not just blame on one thing. There are some family, they are, they are blessed with wealth and they want to spend a little bit, they can. But what I would say to those, those family who are blessed with wealth, you can use your wealth wisely. You can use it to benefit the marriage. Like I had said, instead of uh, spending money on limousine that's only for two, three hours, yeah. or uh, Hamar, or so new things, Lamborghini, hiring Ferraris and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just imagine a Ferrari costs 2,000 pounds or 3,000 pounds, just imagine, right? Yeah. Don't spend the money on Ferrari, but spend the money because you have the money. Yeah. Send them away to a holiday. <laughs> why do you need, where, where they do you can, need a hammer for? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they, they can bond together. I say to them, new couple needs way out. They need a, a holiday yeah, often. Help them Nowadays, settle their so, home. so say instead of spending uh, 20,000 on a wedding, let's spend five, 6,000. Let's spend your okay, We'll come to the first solution. And, and then, yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, what do we expect? You're a young person, you as well, you know, yeah. mashallah. I'm we glad you're here. <laughs> what, do you, what was your expectation for you? Be honest. And uh, of course, you're going to be honest. In marriage. In, in marriage. marriage. Yeah. And did you? Um, you know, in the last show, I, I told one thing. Um, very simple but very important thing that uh, marriage is for peace so we want peace through marriage that's the bottom line you know 
although we have a lot of struggles, uh, we have, you know, worldly, different kind of mm -hmm. problems in our worldly life. That is a very common thing. You can be, you can get sick, uh, you can face an accident, or you can, uh, you can be jobless. Uh, anything can be happened even in life, but the bottom line is that we want peace um, and two people come together to search peace together. That's the main point. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, when I, you know, understood the concept of marriage, um, I did pray to God to th very basic things. Uh, one was that I Have want... Have done the study before? Um, so when yeah, you say yeah. you understood, what does it mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, I was reading books about it and what my religion says about it, right. what God expects from me through Absolutely. my marriage. So I, have to, I had to know all those mm. things, definitely. So I prayed to two basic things because um, who I'm going to get married is the uh, person who I will be living, I don't know how many years. Mm. So I have to be very careful about that. And I prayed to God that you give me someone who will be respecting me mm. as, an, as, a, as a woman, you know, not, um, not like that. Um, I'm a woman and I'm a subordinate to a person, not like that. Mm. He'll be respecting me as a, as a woman and as a human being as well. And that's, the, that's a very important thing, mm. I believe. And the second thing is that I always pray that, uh, you know, I want peace through my marriage. So uh, please, you know, just give all the blessings is necessary to get married one person. Imagine if you didn't have that. Your dream person, imagine. Yeah, just, just yeah, uh, you have it, amazing. Yeah, you yeah. guys are um, probably <laughs> after the show, we'll talk I'm about it. <laughs> imagine you didn't have that. What would you do? Because listen, you started with the prayers and you, you com already communicating with God, mm. look, I want this, I want that, yes, I want this. Yes. I want to make you happy. You've already done that. Now you have somebody probably mm. not in your dream, dream mm. world. So what yeah. would you do? Um, uh, definitely, we have to be uh, compatible to each other. You know, sometimes we have to like, uh, you know, uh, for example, you are uh, putting a screw on the, on the wall, then you have to make a hole in, in the wall, isn't it? And you have to make the wall whole according to the screw. So, I mean, the relationships are kind of that. If you have to cut off some, uh, some things which are making obstacle in your marriage. And like both of us, we had to go through a lot of difficulties as well to you know make us comfortable to each other so that's the point that you have to have the uh, mentality you have to have the acceptance mm. that um, sure. your your partner mm. might be you know the same fairy tale you know hero romeo Thank like you. romeo juliet mm. something <laughs> like that so you have to you have to have the acceptance and mentality that w whoever the person is, but I have to think some basic points that we have to live together and uh, we have to talk to each other. Whatever, most of the time what happens is you know that uh, something is going wrong and you, uh, you don't talk to each other to fix it or at least someone has to take the responsibility yeah, to you know, sort it out. Can I ask, um, yeah. before the break, we have break in two minutes, can yeah. I ask you what was your expectation and in your days you look... You know, you, um, you, you know uh, just wanted to go back <laughs> to yours because you yes. you've raised some very amazing points there. Communication is amazing. <coughs> you know, that's the, yes. one of the best, by far, yes. uh, one of the best principles of a marriage is communication. And if, if it's a reason for a breakdown of marriage, it is one of the best mm. reasons behind that too. Yeah. So, it's imp I mean, that was one of the best things, is to communicate. I mean, um, you know, we're, when marriage was taking place in my days, obviously, communication with parents is, uh, is important, just as important it is with the person you're about to marry too. Yeah. So you have to speak to your parents. You, what you've raised there is another amazing point because you said speaking with your parents, being there, being a pro you know, you're able to be approached. If you're not going to be a, pr a person that your children can approach, then that's where the biggest mistake is. They don't know what you want. They're not mind readers. Mm -hmm. You know, they, if you don't, they don't even know you then. Yeah. You know, you can't text somebody and say, you know, this is what I'm about. You can't give somebody a whole picture by mm. texting somebody. And that's what life has become right now Just for everybody. <laughs> we aren't, we, you know, you can't text somebody your whole life. No. No. Yeah, that's, with that's one sentence. Possible. How quickly do we, uh, do emotions go wrong? Because you said something in a good manner, 
it's come out in the wrong way. Right. It's been perceived in the wrong manner. So this is what life has become and this is what life is about. Even yeah. within couples, you the need... The conversation is important. Absolutely, yes. conversation, yeah. communication, and that's what, this is what leads to okay. a we're good marriage. We're going to go on a small break until I come back uh, to inshallah. straight back to uh, uh, Tamara, inshallah. And then we'll Dear viewers, um, stay with us. We're just going to go for a small break, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.